Hello, people watching their computer screens on the internet. I am uh, T-Bone Pearson here, uh, aka Travis Gordon. I uh, just want to give a shout out to uh, Gregory the Greatster, uh, X Puma Fanga X, uh, J Shaw 71, Jonathan Holton, and Jimmy Hollywood. Uh, you guys commented on my last video. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. It's good to have a little uh, conversation going. Uh, anyways, today I'd like to talk about a, uh, a camera that I'm lusting after. Uh, there's actually three models. Uh, they're made by Blackmagic. I think it's like blackmagicdesign.com, I believe. Uh, and they've released uh, three models. Uh, so the first one is a, it's called a pocket cinema camera, and it's around a thousand dollars. Um, then the medium one, uh, is, uh, the cinema camera. It's around 2000 and you get DaVinci Resolve free with that. Uh, so if you don't know what that is, it's a, uh, color grading software that they use on Hollywood films. Uh, would love to get my hands on that if possible. There's a free version. Uh, there's DaVinci Resolve Lite. Uh, on their website, you can download, and just some of the uh, pro features are, I guess, grayed out. But the problem with Resolve, I'll get back to the cameras. The problem with Resolve is you need a really good video card uh, to be able to use this program. So, out of like eight computers that I own, um, I can't run it on any of them. So, you have to have a NVIDIA card, uh, and it's got to be pretty good. And it has to have something called CUDAs on it. And I have no idea what CUDAs are, but Resolve needs, they need the CUDAs. <laughs> so you have to have CUDAs if you want that software, it, which is free. So anyways, I, uh, I bought a new video card. Uh, it's the GTX um, 680. Supposedly that works with the card, sorry, with the software. So I should be able to do it. Uh, if it doesn't work, because <laughs> I don't have enough CUDAs, uh, CUDAs, uh, then uh, I will be not happy. Anyways, okay, back to the cameras. So there's the medium one at 2,000. Okay, the little one, the pocket one, is uh, 1,000. Middle one is 2,000. And the third one, which hasn't been released yet, but was supposed to come out in July, uh, and it is now October, uh, almost November, isn't out yet. And that's production camera. It's the production one. It's $4,000. You get the pro version of DaVinci Resolve with it. So it's, it's an amazing deal. And uh, the thing that I love about this camera is that it's uh, global shutter. Uh, so with that, all CMOS sensors, most cameras nowadays have CMOS sensors. And if you jiggle them like this, uh, for instance, I'm filming on a Canon 5D Mark II. If I start doing this, you'll see something called Jello Cam, and it's the whole screen does this. So you guys can test this on your own stuff, but if it's a CMOS sensor, and most like 90% of cameras nowadays are CMOS sensors, uh, you're gonna get the Jello Cam. Um, so on our show Spell Fury, I use a camera that isn't CMOS, isn't a CMOS sensor. It's got CCDs, three of them, three chips, I think. One chip, three, whatever, three CCDs, I think. Anyways, no Jello Cam, so it's good for action and stuff like that. Uh, but anyways, that's been the curse of video over the, like the last like five six years is these the Jello Cam. Finally, finally, we're into cameras uh, that we can afford, like. The high-end ones, they don't. They, I'm sure they have global shutter on them, and but you're paying thirty thousand dollars, fifty thousand dollars, a hundred thousand dollars. This is we're talking about four thousand dollar camera with global shutter, meaning you can go back and forth, and there's no Jello cam. Finally, all right. So uh, now there's another one too that I just want to mention that I've been looking into called the digital Bolex. I don't think it's out as well. It's going to have global shutter as well, um, but I think it's only a sixteen millimeter. 16 millimeter sensor or like a 60 millimeter type sensor. Uh, with this $4,000 one coming out from Blackmagic Design, uh, it's a, I think it's super 35 millimeter, so it's like a big sensor on it. Not as big as the Canon 5D Mark II, which I'm using, uh, but still pretty big. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so I'm excited about the camera. What else am I excited about with this camera? Uh, oh, you can shoot RAW with it, RAW video. So I don't know if you guys are into like Photoshop or anything like that. Uh, but shooting raw video is like amazing. If I would love to get my hands into doing some raw video, you bring it into DaVinci Resolve, you color grade it, you have professional results, hopefully, if you're good. <laughs> anyway, so that's the camera that I want to buy. It's not out yet. Uh, you can pre-order it, but supposedly they're behind because they got these some bad sensors. Or, not bad sensors. They got different sensors than the production design ones they had, and now they're trying to get these new sensors and calibrate them and get them perfect to ship them off. So, anyways, I'm going to save up for that camera, hopefully, I think, or go for the cheapy and just play with that for a while. But anyways, uh, if...
if you guys have any questions about the cameras, uh, check out their website. I think it's blackmagicdesign.com. Uh, I am uh, eagerly awaiting the camera. And uh, yeah, so uh, is there any cameras you guys are interested interested in? Any type of, what do you guys have for video cameras? Like, what are you guys shooting with? Anyways, let me know. Let's talk about this. I love tech stuff. Uh, so anyways, uh, cheers. And uh, please comment. Comment below and uh, please subscribe and like the video. Right on. Okay, catch you guys later. Bye.